Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. Deeply enveloped in our war with Great Britain, but I think things will be coming to a close soon just because uh, we've got them on the back foot, not just by victory points, but finally we're coming close to their numbers after that last engagement in the Mediterranean, so we're um, no longer blockaded. They finally, I, in fact, it looks like they've removed some of their presence and uh, sent it homeward, probably in response to the uh, Germans. I'm assuming it doesn't say it. Yeah, it looks like they're actually blockading the Germans, which is very difficult to imagine how it's possible with the Germans 15 dreadnoughts and 26 battle cruisers. But um, with the point totals there, that doesn't take into account if any of those ships are on raiding stance. If you're on raiding stance, your points don't contribute to the blockade totals. So maybe the Germans are just making a, a very strong effort to uh, do some merchant raiding, and that would be pretty historical. So we'll keep on pushing on. Uh, everything's basically set at this point. We know what we're gonna do. We don't have any time to build any further ships. Almost certainly this last St. George III class is not going to be constructed, but only three and four months for the TMAC and RPAD. RPAD, by the way, available for rename if anybody wants her, but we did invade the Grand Bahamas, that's right, so um, our like uh, treaty dreadnought presence as force projection was successful. And we've gotten... Oops, so we lost a Minesweeper after getting two more. I missed the previous pop-up. Wow, we sunk the the Rodney with um, our mine presence. Three, and a cruiser action. And very low victory points means probably legitimately a cruiser action. I'm assuming not a battle cruiser. Yeah. And you can see why the Rodney was brought down. We have mines all over, like all over the place. And of course, it would be stupid of us not to use those to our advantage. Note that we're passing one right now. And there's another one a little bit northeast. We'll probably take advantage of these if we can. Okay. I think that's good for that. Let's get our display up. Yeah, so what's the best move for us? Hmm. Let's bring these guys in from screen formation to line ahead. What do we have, by the way? These are all my older class, the Tiger Twos. And we're going to try to protect the northern, the northwestern flank for wind concerns. Knowing that, of course, if we need to... By the way, are these... So these are Navarra class. This is just a completely outdated fleet that we're engaging with. We'll do our best anyway. Okay, they're headed that way. That's It's just too far away to that other mine, and I don't think we'll be able to use this one. So we'll probably end up encouraging torpedo launching. Okay, so let's make that fact well known to our destroyers. And let's see what we have going on here. Our destroyers are fast enough to run away. So we're going to kind of peel back with our light cruisers as a safety precaution. These are destroyers, eating class. We can handle that. Obviously, our light cruisers should go in now, not our destroyers. <laughs> and they are making a torpedo run, it looks like. So, actually, I think we'll keep our formation and we'll just use our guns. I know our guns aren't as effective. They're not 4-inch. And we only have two of them. However, if they're going to approach um, dead ahead, they're going to nullify the use of two of their guns because they have two fore and two aft. And we can just hopefully line up the shots. So we'll slow down. And just hopefully our light cruisers can engage. Already Taurus doing some good work. So these are just destroyers, not worth losing our ships over. 
and they look like they're actually hunting our destroyers, which is, I mean, in the rock, paper, scissors scheme of things, my destroyers are worse than enemy destroyers. At pretty much every other um, ship designation, like cruiser, heavy cruiser, battle cruiser, I feel like our ships can go toe to toe with any equal class, but not our destroyers. Those are built for taking out dreadnoughts. So. So we are going to stay a little bit beyond, uh, we are avoiding torpedoes as well, that's <laughs> to be expected I guess. Let's go back to almost squad max with these guys. If, if we can just hold off on one evening class, I'm okay with that. And these destroyers should only be engaged in supporting my light cruisers. I'm assuming this one has slowed down a little bit. Yeah, okay, well, this is over. <laughs> it didn't take long. Oh, it looks like we've got two. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Let's get our destroyers here to deal with these guys and our light cruiser to head north, just in case that other destroyer decides to get involved. And it looks like it was going to. Yeah, now we're starting to land good hits on both ships, it, it appears. Spin back. We don't need you to. This is obviously going down. This one has heavy damage, but we want to kind of try to keep pressure on her. I'm going to say no to all because we don't need to. This is more about sinking the ships. And in order to do that, we need to pursue. Set your course this way. She might escape if we're not persistent. She might already have <laughs> be escaping. I can take her off AI control at least now, so that's good. Let's try to track this last one down. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to catch her. And extreme darkness is rolling in. Well, good enough. We know we got one. It's the best we could we could have done under the circumstances. Our group of four destroyers just didn't have... They're the Tiger II class. They just didn't have the firepower. We'll head back towards this destroyer, and I don't know if it'll give us the option to pick up survivors again. No. Then we'll head towards, well, I don't even know, I guess the nearest British port is Gibraltar. Just waiting for this uh, engagement to end. There it is. So we only did medium damage to that one. Was not enough to enable us to catch up, and they were down here. That's okay. Let's see how we're doing according to the Almanac. All right, so naval budget, well, I think that those 10-digit numbers speak for themselves. Great Britain and the United States, just a massive amount of budget. And we've clawed our way into almost into third place. We're about tied with Germany, and they are at their peak budget as well since they're at war. So we're, we've done a good job. We've gotten basically all into third place from, from dead last. Our ships are very formidable. I mean, even though we only have 543, I think this is second lowest then. It looks like we have the second lowest total dreadnought tonnage. Although we have 12 because that includes some treaty dreadnoughts and uh, the Kaiser class still with us is pretty old. Our nine battlecruisers are pretty substantial. We actually have, well, this is because we've crushed the British battlecruiser fleet, but we have one more and much higher tonnage than the British fleet. Uh, doing a little bit better. Well, no, just about even with Italy. 
Yeah, battle cruisers are a little bit low. Still hold on to one heavy cruiser. It's, uh, of course, our museum ship. <laughs> so it doesn't really exist. Lots of light cruisers, but with the Achilles class, I feel like that was a good decision. And we've just destroyed the British light cruiser fleet. They're down to 12. I, w I wanted to look at this because I was interested in seeing if we were able to force the British to stop accepting battles with their destroyer fleet, but they have still a pretty substantial destroyer fleet. Okay, well, there's nothing really we had to take care of there, so we'll just keep pushing on. In fact, with the extra budget, we'll start researching again. Uh, let's go ahead and sacrifice some of our Tiger II's unnecessary evil to the ASW. Wait, 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 no. Actually, we should have more... Oh, they're working up. Yeah, so in the meantime, while those are working up, we'll dedicate a few destroyers to anti-submarine warfare. Hmm, I don't really care. It's not, it's not interesting. Uh-huh, on our submarines... One of our submarines sank a minesweeper. We sank four. I think we lost two. They just lost two. Two more, two more, versus two. And the Germans lost another uh, destroyer. And another cruiser action. It's probably another small one. Uh, let's see if we can get something bigger. Oh, strange cruiser action off Southwest Africa. I think this should be an Achilles class, so... Ah, okay, well, fair enough. I would have been interested in taking that one. Okay, let's see, I guess we go next again. And there it is. We've taken control of the Grand Bahamas. Fantastic. A T-Mac is now... has joined our fleet, has left dry dock. One, four, five, oh, no, four to one. Okay, I'm not going to accept the convoy defense. And that was the only action we have for this turn. It doesn't really matter. I don't know what's going on in terms of blockade. It looks like the Germans are still not able to bring as many points to bear as the British, despite having what appears to be about double their capital ship numbers. <laughs> not really sure what they're trying to do there. They have more than double. If we just combine Dreadnoughts and Battle Cruisers, it's, it's like 40 to 17, 41 to 17. What are they doing? They could be blockading them very easily, but that's okay. The main goal is don't get blockaded yourself. And I think we're out of reach of that from now. If the British put all their forces into the Mediterranean, they could blockade us again, but I doubt that they'll do that. Wow, okay, so this is very interesting. A huge engagement. The British lost a Dreadnought, the Revenge, and the Germans lost the Graf Spee. Graf Spee. 105 victory points leads me to believe this convoy defense actually has some heavier ships involved. But if by heavier ships you mean destroyers, yes. <laughs> Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, let's continue steady as she goes for a little bit because we won't be able to make any changes for a little bit. When we are able to get control back, then I'll tilt us in the right direction. We have control. Okay, well, max speed, boys. Let's get over there as fast as possible. Not an interesting engagement, sadly. And we have our Tiger Twos as the commanding unit. That seems very unusual. Yeah, yeah, we get it. They're being attacked.
I'm so confused. Oh, the Spilato classes are all obsolete. <laughs> yes, I did notice that, that they were built first in like 1922, and it's 1934. And nothing can be done. I don't know if we're being engaged or if that's a different Spilato. I think it's a different Spilato being engaged. Well, um, we're gonna want torpedoes launched as soon as we spot anything. I probably could find us a lot faster. Okay, there we go. We, we already found them. where the fleet is. Ah, oh, poor Mur. <sighs> Sad days. And we're not very good at destroyer versus destroyer engagements, as I already mentioned. So this is just like, not only is this not a good fight, not interesting, it's not going to be a good one. I'm very suspicious that the mirror is not going to be surviving. Oh, let's close on the Teviot while she's spinning in circles. Danger close. Pin her in. Engage. Looks like we weren't able to really disrupt her. And she probably sank one of our destroyers. Well, let's see if we can chase after her. Kind of pin her in. Yeah, I think we'll at least get one up. Oh, rudder jammed. <laughs> Same thing happened with us. Everyone else knows to continue on, that's good. We have much worse weaponry. But I think in the end we we will win. And that's almost surely a sunk ship, and then we'll just, seriously, we'll just flee. The Leopard is actually still under power. I need to get back in, in range to control her so that she doesn't kill herself. Whew. Boy, barely survived that one. And I'm just going to assume this, this ship is going to die. Yeah. Come on. Slow down, buddy. Yes, go join these merchant ships. Everyone else can just... Okay. Sure. We'll go clean up the survivors. Uh, boring. I don't know why this one was 105 victory points to decline. That doesn't... Just, something's confused me about this game. Not everything is perfect. So at this point we're just going to swim with the merchant ships. Oh my gosh. Is this guy still going? Maybe he's trying to sink the leopard. We can't have that, can we? No, what are you doing, Leopard? What in God's name are you doing? This doesn't make sense. Go and teach this destroyer a lesson. A lesson that I thought she had already been taught. For some reason, she's very persistent. And has refused to go down. Uh, 
Ah, uh, whatever. You know what? I'm just so disinterested in this battle. I'm gonna let chaos reign. Just, who cares? T do whatever you guys want. I don't care. Whoops. Except for you. Come, come to me. Darren, death. Go back this way. Okay, we got the... No, that's the Murr. That's ours. <laughs> they still could do some damage to our merchant ships. <laughs> ah, there they are. Let's try this again. Yay. Okay, she's dead. Very dead. I don't even know what happened to our... Oh, there she is. Cruise. Very good. Just silly. Who cares? Like, look at the victory points from that. Wow. 100 victory points. That's really going to eat into my 70,000 victory point lead. Hmm. And here we go again! The Mediterranean is soon going to be firmly in control of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Got some more submarines, very good. Uh, I'm kind of not... Oh, the Sabo. And an error. <laughs> is the Sabo okay? To... Yeah, I guess. I don't know what that meant, but we'll take her to off rating, go to active fleet, and send the Martin on to rating instead to clear that star. We just have that. Okay, good. That's, that's good. Well, I don't know what to say. Our monthly balance has been fluctuating quite a bit. I guess we could go up on research and see if that changes anything, but it's it's like too late to try to commission new ships. I don't really know. I guess we'll push for harder terms because we can continue to take over. Uh, more of the Mediterranean and... Wait, that was the Mediterranean. That wasn't the Caribbean. Huh. Wow, light cruiser and a, a battle cruiser. Did it, you know? Did we fight the Germans at some point? I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna decline this. Uh, I just want to look at the almanac real fast. So the answer is no. We never fought the Germans, but in this war alone, they've lost two battle cruisers, a dreadnought. A light cruiser and two destroyers. It's substantial. Certainly the British have lost a lot more. Hmm. Yeah, our despite the this is the list that's accrued from every I mean the British list also includes ships that were lost when they were our allies, but We, for every war we've ever fought in, we've only lost uh, seven, I guess you can consider eight capital ships. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember the St. George, too. She went down in that kind of heroic battle in order for us to get closer to, I think, an enemy battle cruiser. The Thomas Loff, I think, was involved in the same action. That was the one who sank a heavy cruiser with a turret flash fire and then was summarily sunk herself. It's kind of cool. You can go back through. It's like a... Remember the memories. The Pollock stupidly ran out of fuel and had to be scuttled. <laughs> that was the Pollock, though. And uh, the new ship is just Pollock, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. She's learned her lesson. Uh, the word the was interfering with her fuel gauge. Okay. Um... I think all our submarines are now commissioned. 
That's pretty devastating. Wow. Wow. It, to say that food is becoming scarce for the British is... Due to submarine sinkings. Jeez. This is the result that Germany wanted from World War II. Wow. Lots of things going our way. Wow. <laughs> And just to, you know, put salt in the wound, a minesweeper was also lost. And a fleet battle. Well, this is probably where I'll call this episode to a close, but I'd also say this is probably... Ugh. Okay, well, this is still fine. At least we gotta fight something. This one I might just do on camera. These end up taking not that long. Wind is in our favor, max speed. There's nothing the Graz can't outgun, so we'll go for it. Oop, got a hit. It's a light cruiser. She's slightly faster than us, so we're gonna pursue just using our superimposed turrets. And it looks like we're still getting pretty effective fire. Yeah, this is all over. I'm sure the Four Fox is waiting anxiously. Oh, her record will not be broken. I think she sank a ship in, what was it, 14 minutes? And this one has already gone on 20. But it's definitely over. Make it a little bit faster, Grass. Might want to launch some torpedoes. Nope, just, it's already over. I guess that kind of sums up what the war has gone, how the war has gone after that huge fleet engagement. Um, even after the battle cruiser engagement, I, I should say, because that battle cruiser engagement could have gone worse for us if war games hadn't stepped up and really done a good job. But yeah, I guess this is. Uh, we'll probably have one more episode. Next episode will probably be the end of the war with the British, and we'll just kind of conclude things, talk about future directions. But otherwise, I'm going to call this episode to a close here, nice and early. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.